Yes, and once again, yes. The Amazons existed. They were mentioned by Herodotus, referring to the facts of a hundred years ago. That is, there have been female armies since at least the 6th century BC. The area of distribution was recorded from the eastern half of Asia Minor to present-day Iraq. But where do you think the fair half serves? Any guesses? Maybe in any rear units? Not really. Some serve in… grim special detachments. You are now watching Secret Chronicles channel. Today we'll delve into the topic of armies or detachments made of women and their peculiarities. Stay with us. Amazons of Kurdistan Well, there is no such state for now. The Kurds live at the junction of four countries, present-day Turkey, Syria, Iran, and Iraq. They even had several settlements on the Armenian-Azerbaijani disputed border area. There are certain groups of Kurds in northern Iran. But there is no such an established country with the name Kurdistan. Although there are armies, one based in Syria and the other in northern Iraq. Women from the age of 18 play an important role in these informal formations. For one example, northern Iraq, Kurdish one, is so independent, even mentally wise, that tourists have to apply for permission to enter here not at a visa center from the Iraqi government, but in the autonomy. The Kurds are descended from the same ancient people, Kurds. Before the advent of Islam, women were the ones and are the ones who choose their husbands, and not the other way around. By the way, in the Middle Ages and modern times, the same Kurdish women who were under 18 demonstrated real miracles of heroism in the military operations of their tribes. To say bluntly, they were hard-hearted. This legacy has been passed down from mother to daughter to the present day. Women's self-defense units, both in Syria as well as in Iraq, were and still are one of the worst nightmares of terrorist gangs. There are women responsible for demolition, snipers, special forces and hidden operations, quite operative medics and grenade launcher shooters. In other words, the full package. But the women's protection units are not only recruiting exclusively Kurdish women. There are dozens of cases when citizens of different countries, devoted to the ideas of various women's movements, came here to serve in the army. Without a doubt, some of them secretly from their parents. Norway's Valkyries Scandinavian women were admired by people like Nietzsche and Wagner. They mentioned the warriors who were among the Vikings. In mythology, they are winged and carried to paradise, Valhalla, or those who left the world of ordinary people with weapons in their hands. And the main heir to the traditions of the Vikings is Norway. Why is it? There are still many women among the military here. But no, not because Norway is an invader. On the country, it is the most peaceful. And due to the fact that developed democratic values put the state on a par with the Netherlands, Sweden, Denmark, and Finland, where women have not been considered the weaker sex for 50 years or so. You see, in these five countries, courtship, reaching out to help, paying the bill at a restaurant, gifts and flowers, has long been looked upon crookedly. No need for courtship of ladies. In Finland, young girls start dating on their own. But in Norway, women are very severe. After all, they are entrusted with military special operations. There is a unit called Jägentroppen, hunting party, which consists only of women. Excellent huntresses, in ancient times the Greeks called them Dianas or Artemis, pass extreme driving, hand-to-hand -hand combat, fire training from various automatic weapons and more. And candidates for service in such a team will have to pass the exam of the School of Survival, Parachute School, and pass a strong standard at a distance of many kilometers in full equipment. Israeli Karakal Well, it's no secret that there are pretty much as many women as men in Israel's armed forces. But there is even more interesting information. There is a separate elite special forces unit consisting exclusively of women of different backgrounds, but with an Israeli passport. The power structure is called the Kargal Battalion, translated as Step Links. Their training includes the ability to follow impeccable discipline, to shoot, run fast and far in equipment with full equipment on them, demonstrate all sorts of combat techniques. The training of these individuals of the highest category lasts as much as 50 months. As a result, they are capable of using even more powerful complex fire systems. South African Female Soldiers 
The women's army in the Republic of South Africa is also called Rechish, reconnaissance. Counterintelligence missions never before used on the continent types of airborne operations, reconnaissance and sabotage missions on the territory of neighboring countries, and continuous preparation for a full-scale war on international level. Even after passing very harsh psychological tests, 92% of those who want to get here, people with a stable psyche, drop out. So the physical activity for girls here is very hard to withstand. A 15-kilometer march in less than two hours, 50 push-ups in general common rhythm, overcoming a 5-kilometer distance in 24 minutes, regular running sessions of 46 meters for 95 seconds. Well, if you want to try it out for yourself and have doubts of their capabilities, then in such a case, do 67 squats in two minutes, climb the rope, run another 175 meters with a person on your shoulders. Usually everything from the new set is lying here, and only few of them find the strength to climb over a 3-meter wall and on the other side to kick a punching bag 120 times. What do you think about such a check? And yeah, we need to add this. During the test period, recruits do not eat, sleep or rest. Of course, only the very few remain. Night Witches of the DPRK In this chapter, we are talking about unusual female pilots the first of which appeared at the dawn of the formation of the DPRK. Military pilots were trained by Chinese instructors. The trainers accordingly had the same students. Di Sun He, on 28th of November of 1950, the squadron under her leadership attacked a field airfield near Pyongyang. According to North Korean pilots, their witches burned 11 F-51s. And we are talking purely about the North Korean squadron alone. But even nowadays, there are quite a lot of girls and women serving in North Korea. But in our days in all branches of the military. After all, the DPRK, as you know, is one of the most militarized countries around the world. So again, a large percentage of female pilots. After all, Ti Sun He is the ideal of a woman in North Korea. And many needlewomen embroider her images on flags and decorate the walls inside the houses. Australia's Military Nurses Prior to World War II, all women's units in Australia were part of the Australian Army Nursing Service. But during the war, and mostly later, all ADFs, Australian Defence Force, developed a mandatory overall participation rate for women. Now we are talking about 17.9%. Apart from that, in the special forces of the state, they are almost 25% of the total number. We understand that it's difficult to call a special forces unit, for example 10 people, male if there are two or three women. They undergo the same training. If you're going to the special forces, do exercises and pass all the tests on the equal cornerstone with men. Needless to say, if you're particularly impressionable or, let's say, have certain moral standards when it comes to people, then close your ears as well as eyes. Many women wash alongside with men here. In Australia, openness and absolute spontaneity come first. And that's how it happened since the very beginning. Since 1899, before any other country, Australians have recognized the full equality of women and consequently allowing them to serve in the army. But what is essentially the reason for this? Well, no stereotypes and no expectations to moral barriers. Strict traditional values and people who view world accordingly were in no hurry to enter Australia since the very beginning. Receiving this continent is a place of exile for unforgivable criminals, including downcast bandits. It is also a place on earth of hostile nature, deadly deserts, impudent kangaroos, man-eating sharks, the largest percentage of poisonous snakes and feral dogs. Thus, in the end, those whose views were condemned in Europe the accused sectarians, supporters of interracial marriages, although nowadays these kinds of marriages can be and a lot of times are healthy and prosperous, but before in history it wasn't the case, and social democrats and, well, outright feminists. The old expression nurse in this country now refers to a female soldier with a wider set of knowledge and skills, as well as physical training and physique. Many put women's units of the Bundeswehr in this line, once it was in third place in terms of the number of women. And let us now please for a second go back to antiquity. The tribal alliances of the Scythian Sarmatian world, as well as the potential Kurdistan, abounded in female tribes or societies. The last Amazons were recorded in the 15th century on the territory of Chuvashia, in present-day Russia, and in the 17th century on some lands of eastern Transcaucasia. 
It is their blood that flows in the veins of the heroic women of the once undefeatable USSR. Thank you for watching our episode. If you enjoyed watching it, then subscribe and leave a like. This was Secret Chronicles, and we'll meet again later.